Activision finally reveals the secrets of skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty right before the season two drop just like i said they would do that that's when they would finally do it because they need to have the clicks and the attention and people going oh my god call of duty call of duty call of duty bro we're on to your shit activision god damn it you guys are pathetic we can call what you're gonna do months before you do it grow up All right, Rant Army, welcome back to the channel. I want uh, to, to wait a few days before we talk about this because I thought it would release a press statement, but you guys keep leaving comments, so let's talk about it. Moments ago, Activision published an all-new Call of Duty blog post breaking down the ins and the outs of the much-debated mechanic known as skill-based matchmaking, or SBMM. It was something that was promised months ago, and although it has taken a while, the full explanation of what it is and how it works is finally here. It's nothing groundbreaking, but it's a decent peek behind the curtain that troubles so many players, mostly because it has never been clarified how SBMM works in Call of Duty. Never been clarified, yeah, because they don't talk about it. Now we know what we already know. What did this accomplish? Nothing. I know I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but nothing was accomplished here. Nothing groundbreaking, yeah, because the players figured it out all on their own without the Activision doing their publicity stunt here, trying to get people to play their damn game. The game sucks. Skill-based matchmaking sucks. Let's get into it. So... How does skill-based matchmaking work? In a lengthy blog post, which is why we're not over there, I'm not reading through all that corporate jargon, it was confirmed that the Call of Duty's matchmaking algorithms are composed of multiple factors. Connection, player diversity, recent maps and modes, time to match, skill and performance, platform and input device, as well as voice chat. Okay, so connection I get. Connection means that we have a better connection. Too bad it doesn't work when they're constantly in 200 millisecond lobbies or connecting to fucking Mexico when I live in Canada. Player diversity. Why the hell would that matter? What diversity is there? I'm either versing sweats or I'm versing campers. There's no in between and both lobbies are sweaty. Recent maps and modes. Why would that matter? I have no idea. I guess they want to make sure that you don't accidentally have fun inside of the game, so they're going to make sure that you played on a different map. I don't know. That one makes no sense to me. Time to match. Makes sense. I still wait about five minutes to get into a game, then I load, then I load, then I load, then I load. But that's cool. Skill and performance. So that's the, so apparently on their checklist, uh, skill and performance, your skill level is fifth on the things that they can think of. But uh, we all know it's number one. Platform. So it matters if you're on PC, Xbox, or PlayStation. Too bad cross platform platform needs to be turned off on console in order to have any sort of chance against pc players because every pc player is hacking we know that i know that now playstation is actually starting to stand up against chronosense so cool then it's input for device mouse and keyboard players and controller players i'm going to be honest with you i get into a ton of lobbies that are just controller players and i'm the only mouse and keyboard player and i get shit on we're not going to go down that road we all know why it is but here we are and finally voice chat why the hell is voice chat involved in my matchmaking experience 90 percent of the players have it on mute and the other half have screaming babies in the background why would that determine whether or not i was going to be able to be able to match in a game better or worse i don't know let's continue it was stressed that when it comes to matchmaking, the most critical factor is connection. Ping is king, Activision said. Thanks for taking the words of all the gamers that have been telling you to go back as ping is king. Thanks for just like, you know, gaslighting them a little bit. We know that ping is not king. That's why I connect to Mexico all the goddamn time. In a second place on important charts is it's time to match. And then the rest of the elements fall behind in no particular order. We know the order. The order is skill performance, then it's connection, then it's player diversity, then it's maps and modes, then it's platform, then it's input, and then for some reason voice chat. That's the real list. It's not the one that they said. Activision explained that the bulk of the matchmaking algorithms in Call of Duty are focused on your delta ping, your proximity from the data centers, and how long it takes to match with players. Those elements are fairly obvious, and what players are most interested in is the impact that your game skill and performance have matchmaking algorithm. Activision said as follows. Skill is determined based on the player's overall performance, kills, deaths, wins, losses, and more, including mode selection and recent matches as an overall metric across multiplayer experiences. This is a fluid measurement that's consistently updating and reacting to your gameplay. Skill is not the only factor in matchmaking players against appropriate enemies, but what also when finding teammates. 
All right, let me get this straight. Skill is not the only factor in matchmaking players against appropriate enemies, but also when finding teammates. Is that why I get window clickers? Yeah, they're so stupid. They don't know how to lick a window. They just click their teeth off of it stupidly. Oh my God, there's no way that you can release this PR bull crap and not have the player base be like, yo, this is bullshit. This is no way at all true. This is a PR stunt. It's just to get people to fucking click on the Call of Duty tags. It's for people to get Call of Duty in their mind before season one. Oh man, remember the way the Call of Duty released a skill-based matchmaking? blog post oh season two is right around the corner bro there's a reason why good players get stuck on lobbies with bad players because the bad players need to be carried in order for them to have fun we know that the good players are the guinea pigs to make sure that you can get money from the fucking scrubs inside of the game don't give me that shit but we're also finding teammates I rarely have a team that's worth even talking about, but the enemies, oh my God, man. They're MLG champions winning massive amounts of money. Their earnings are in the tens of cents. Hit miss me with this shit, man. Let's get into more of it. Reportedly, these algorithms have been in development since 2007's Call of Duty 4 modern warfare in stark contrast to what many players might have feel they believe activision stressed that they use the player's performance to ensure that the disparity between the most skilled player in the lobby and the least skilled player in the lobby isn't so vast that the players feel their match is a waste of time what every match feels like a waste of time every match it's either i'm getting crapped on or i'm fucking destroying there's no in between i'm either carrying fucking dud dead weights you know guys that are missing limbs missing fucking hands missing arms and they're just being dragged behind lifelessly behind me or I'm going against Faye Swag every goddamn time. At the same time, there's a mission to ensure that the variety of the outcomes are guaranteed as far as possible. With that being said, to in taking into consideration how long Activision has worked on these algorithms, the developers recognize that there's still a lot of work to do. We also understand that many high-skilled players want more variety of an experience, but often we feel like they're only getting into the sweatiest of lobbies. We have heard this feedback clearly, and we will continue to test and actively explore ways to mitigate this concern. You ain't gonna fix shit. I love the gaslighting here. There's so much gaslighting here. We understand that many high skill players want more variety of an experience, but often feel like they only get the sweaties of lobbies. Because we do! If you are an above average player, you get the sweatiest of lobbies. We can show you it. There is channel after channel after channel on this fucking website, YouTube, that shows you how sweaty these damn lobbies are and how every good player is matched with five fucking morons and every other team is an MLG tournament winning fucking champion we have heard your feedback they just choose to ignore it is what they're saying clearly and we continue to test and actively explore ways to mitigate this concern it's been a decade if you haven't figured it out by now you never will you know what the problem is is you made a skill-based matchmaking system that was only good when you had many players now you don't have many players the skill-based matchmaking is now broken because there's not enough players to make it skill-based matchmaking it's just one guy carry five dead people and then the other team's mlg sweats there's no in between and every once in a while you get to flip it and you get to be the mlg sweat team while the other team gets to deal with the you know the dead weight God damn it. Let's continue because my favorite part's coming up right now. My favorite damn part's coming up right now. All right. You guys ready for this? You guys ready for this? This is my favorite damn part. As a final note, Activision answered several questions. Streamers do not get special treatment. Yes, they do. We can go on TikTok right now and see streamers that are definitely 1,000% cheating, definitely 100% cheating, and they're getting away with it right now, and they're paid sponsors by you. Paid for content does not impact your algorithm. Bullshit! I saw, oh man, I have a gameplay where I'm fighting A-Train on the enemy team, and every time I shoot him with my shotgun, it's a two-shot kill. Every other skin and every other player in the entire lobby is a one-shot kill, except for the A-Train skin. Always a two-shot kill. There are no bots in COD multiplayer. Not anymore, because we figured out what was going on. We know what happened. All the players caught on to your bullshit, so you pulled them out. But we do know that they exist, and we do know you will enter in them eventually. Matchmaking algorithms do not impact hit register, aim assist, or damage. Bullshit. We know this exists. We can feel it. We know when the flip's been switched. And I know some stupid loser out there is going to buy this shit up. He's going to eat it. Oh, oh, fucking Activision gave it to me so goddamn good. Oh, oh, I love the fact that streams don't get special treatment even though i know they do uh, keep touching me activision daddy daddy dad they are 100 in the game 
Playtime does not matter. Bullshit. If I don't play for three days, the first game I get into is a fucking amazing game. If I do play for three days, I get absolutely shittier and shittier and shittier lobbies. I'm telling you right now, when I was sick, I got the least sweaty lobbies in my life because I could only play like five seconds of a game before I had to go puke up my guts out in the toilet. Some of it had to do with the fact that Activision sucks, so my gut was like, go puke. And other times it was because I was sick. Oh, and Activision has already run tests by removing skill-based matchmaking, and it proved that retention is much lower as a result. So don't expect it to go anywhere else. Who did they test it on? The sweaty fucking no lives? Oh, like for real, who did they test it on? I didn't get the test. Who did they test it on? Did they grab like their best friend and say, hey man, you got to tell us that you don't like us so that we can make this like little quote tweet on our side of our blog so people can know that retention doesn't matter? Here's the thing. I personally said that skill-based matchmaking doesn't need to be removed, but it needs to be lessened. Lessen skill-based matchmaking, but you won't because you're fucking losers, man. I am so happy that 2,000 of you guys lost your goddamn jobs. Because I know for a fact that nobody wrote this blog today. Nobody wrote this blog a week ago. They knew what they were going to say when they told us a month and a half ago that they were going to release this goddamn message. You know what this message actually said? You want to know what my actual opinions on this message are? Do you want me to bring... It's basically saying, fuck you. It's saying skill-based matchmaking is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. It's saying that everything you know is in the game isn't in the game, even though we know it's in the game. We know that buying a skin gives you better lobbies. It's been proven time and time again. We know that the good players have to carry the bad players, and they only cater to the bad players because those are the idiots that are going to go keep buying skins. We also know that your time that you play does matter because if I get on after not playing for a week and I get crapped on my first game, I ain't touching the game again for the rest of the night. I'm gone. So they give you an easy lobby. I have video evidence on my channel of bots. There's many other channels that have video evidence of bots. There's no fucking way. If you're skill-based matchmaking, I was getting into lobbies of people literally aiming at the goddamn sky or where two teams of random people who met on the internet decided to all stand in two very opposite corners. There is no way that you guys can see this as any other way than them just saying, fuck you, player base. I am now in the park that they are deliberately trying to tank Call of Duty so they can release it as a free-to-play game and fuck you guys over just like COD Mobile. There's a reason why nobody really talks about COD Mobile, because it's literally ruining. It's the worst game ever. I have a feeling that this is where this is going to go. I have a feeling right now I'm going to call it that they're going to make Call of Duty free-to-play. They can keep having all these systems in it, but then people can't complain they paid for a $70 game. That's my opinion. This was a piece are stunned to get buzz up about season two by the way it's the walking dead oh my god guys we get to play as rick fuck off and it was just to get us to be it, they just wanted to basically say shut the fuck up that's what this blog says it, it just basically told us to shut the fuck up you guys wanted my opinion now not later i gave it to you guys please leave a like comment subscribe special thank you to the channel members we are one away from unlocking the special youtube bonus thing which is for you guys not for me but as always leave a like comment subscribe have an amazing day don't fall for this amazing activision bs later